San Antonio and welcome to Park Bench. I'm Michelle Martinez, your host for this episode. Whether you're a resident or visitor to San Antonio, Park Bench is a show just for you. We'll keep you updated on upcoming events, programs, and everything else offered by your Parks and Recreation Department. On this episode, we're saying goodbye to 2017 and welcoming 2018. We'll kick off the holidays with special events like Swim with the Elves and Holly Days Rocks. Visit with our city forester about tree adoptions. And most importantly, if getting fit is one of your New Year's resolutions, we have you covered. Holiday camp is just around the corner. If you're looking for a fun and affordable way to keep kids busy during the school break, you'll definitely want to check out the San Antonio Parks and Recreation's holiday camps across the city. Okay, our winter holiday camps are, are out of school camps. So when the kids are off for their winter break, we offer holiday camp. Uh, it's going to vary by school district, so check your local community center to see when they're offering the camp, or you can look online at saparksandrec.com. Uh, camps run from 7.30 to 5.30, uh, Monday through Friday. The day usually starts off with some sort of a stretching, calisthenic kind of activity to get their blood pumping, get them moving, get them ready to be active. This would be a safe place for them because, you know, some parents work uh, seven to five jobs, so they don't have, you know, they don't have a place for their kids to go. So this is a place they to go when they're not in school to have fun. And then we break off into activities that are based on their age group. It's a variety of things. It's art programs. It might be a nature activity. We're going to play a sport, do a fitness activity. You may go and play a mini basketball tournament. You're going to make a craft stick lantern. And the next thing you know, it's time for the kids to go home for the day. They've been active. They've been busy. We've had activities that hopefully will uh, appeal to everybody. A little bit of something for everyone. Registration is open now. Our camp um, is for ages 6 to 14 year olds, it's $3 a day, they get lunch and snack every single day. It's a great way for parents that still need to work, uh, their kids are out of school, it's a safe place for them to go. Uh, you can uh, get online, saparksandrec.com, or you can go in person at one of our uh, 17 community centers that are offering the camp, and uh, we'll get you all set and uh, get your kids ready to go. If you need a little more convincing, we've asked five reliable sources why Holiday Camp is the place to be. Hear what they have to say. Number one. We love to have fun. Number two, meeting new and old friends. Number three, arts, crafts, and science projects. Number four, we learn new games and sports. Raisin number five, we make memories. Explore the fun with your San Antonio Parks and Recreation Department at saparksandrec.com and stay connected with us on social media. Now you can register for the San Antonio Parks and Recreations programs online and reserve your spot at numerous parks, sports fields, gymnasiums, and community centers. It's quick and easy. We'll show you how. With over 240 parks, hundreds of fitness classes, and a diverse array of programs, there's something for everyone. I want to do that. To register for classes, go to saparksandrec.com and click on the recreation icon. Then click on the View and Register for Classes button. To make a reservation, click on the Parks and Facilities icon at saparksandrec.com and then click on the Start Your Reservation button. It's time to explore the fun! Follow the screens to complete payment for your reservation or registration. Explore San Antonio. Explore saparksandrec.com where you will also find plenty of information about the many free classes and programs as well as parks and facilities offered by San Antonio Parks and Recreation. Parks and Recreation Department offers a variety of music classes for youth and adults throughout the year. 
The department is entering its 83rd year of cultural programming. So the cultural program uh, with Parks and Recreation is one of the oldest municipal programs uh, in the country. For our dance program, we start as young as four all the way up to seniors, and our music programs, we take them as young as eight all the way to seniors. As far as dance goes, we have flamenco, folklorico, ballet, tap, jazz, and in the music side, we offer keyboard, guitar, drum lessons. Uh, what's great about our programs are like the classes are small, they're very direct, and a lot of our students go on to join some of our pre-professional youth uh, groups. Uh, on the music end, we have Take Note, which is our pre-professional youth band that is great for anyone that is between the ages of 13 and 18 that aspires to have a career in music. Uh, auditions are held once a year and those that are selected uh, get to learn a variety of styles of music and they get to learn how to perform in public so they can perform at some of the major venues here in San Antonio. As far as our dance troops, we offer two types. We have Al Emotion, which has uh, dancers that learn a lyrical, modern, jazz tap on a more professional level, and they also get to perform at different events all over San Antonio. And we also have Fandango that has more focus on flamenco dancing and folklorico dancing. Holidays Rock is a great show to kick off the holiday season. Um, it's free to the public, and what's great about it is it features our Take Note Band, which is our pre-professional youth band. You're going to hear all your holiday favorites in the R&B, jazz, and rock format, but everything that gets you revved up to really bring in the holiday season. So you can find Holidays Rock at the historic Arneson Theater in Lobby, the downtown. It's free. You can see it December 8th and December 9th. It starts at 7 p.m. It runs about two hours, so bring a little blanket if it gets chilly, grab a little snack, and just sit back and enjoy the show. So we always say it's never too early or too late to learn an instrument or learn how to dance. Uh, we have something for everybody and if you'd like more information on how to kickstart your 2018 with maybe a new style of dance or learn the keyboard, please feel free to visit our website at saparksandrec.com or give us a call at 210-207-3132. I like going to Woodlawn Lake Park. My favorite park is Harlandale Park. My favorite park is Woodlawn Park. Our favorite park is the Hardberger Park and also the Leon Creek Greenway. <laughs> My favorite park is McAllister Park. My favorite park is O.P. Schnabel Park. My favorite park is Brackenbridge Park. My favorite park is Lady Bird Johnson Park. My favorite park is Eisenhower Park. My favorite park is McAllister Park. My favorite park is Hardberger Park. My favorite park is Almost Park. department offers numerous opportunities for residents to adopt trees throughout the year. Trees provide an aesthetic and environmental value to our community. Let's hear more from Ross Hosea, our city forester. My position as city forester in the Parks and Recreation Department um, oversees all of the trees that we have uh, in our department and as well as for the city. Um, I am kind of the manager of the city's trees, if you will. The second big role that I have is undersea, overseeing the departments and the city's uh, tree planting initiatives. Since 2010, we've had a very robust tree planting program, and we oversee all of those activities um, to include tree adoptions as well as all of our planting. Uh, trees are very important here in the city of San Antonio, and in Parks and Recreation, we take um, that mission very seriously. Um, we know we're a growing city, and as a growing city, we know that we're losing trees just from development. So our main mission is to be able to increase the trees the city's canopy um, throughout. 
Trees also have many benefits to our city to make it more inhabitable for our, our residents. The big thing is just the shade that we provide, and that is making uh, the streets and neighborhoods and our parks uh, just more comfortable and more inviting for the public to come and enjoy. Tree planting is one of the initiatives that we have here in our department, um, and it's, it's very important to our city um, with the development. Um, since 2010, we've probably planted in excess of 25,000 trees and probably given an equal number out to the public at adoption events. Uh, this year alone, in this coming year, uh, we will be giving out over 6,000 trees to the public um, and are going to be planting in our parks about 2,500 trees, in addition to many other thousands that we're going to do through other programs such as funding agreements and partnerships with other agencies. A common question that we get is, when's the best time to plant a tree? And ideally in Texas, we like to plant anywhere from the fall through the spring. Uh, this time of year is absolutely a perfect time of year. We don't have to wait until after the winter. We could start here in December and beyond. And what it allows the tree to do, the earlier we get it, the, the more time we have before summer comes, the better off because the trees are able to get established, the roots get in the ground, and they get a little more established before the heat and the harshness of the summer arrives in June. We oftentimes get questions about how to plant a tree and, and any tips that we have. Um, the first tip I have is to actually just do it is the first thing. So when you get a tree from any of our adoptions or you go buy a tree, to take that step, to get it out of the car and actually take the time and get it, get it planted. Um, planting trees isn't a rocket science. The old adage used to be, you know, green side up, root side down. Um, and that is generally true. There's not, there's not a lot of big secrets in tree planting, but there are little tips that we can do to make sure that we um, have the best chance for the tree to thrive. And one of that is making sure that we don't ever plant the tree too deeply. Uh, make sure we do plant it at the, at the right level. Um, making sure that we put a good layer of mulch around it, which protects the tree. But make sure the grass or, or, or lawn equipment stays away because uh, it's usually proves to be fatal on young trees. So tree adoptions are one of our most popular things that we have in the city. People love coming out and being able to take home a free tree and be able to get that established at, at their house. Uh, we have several events coming up, um, the first being on December 9th. We're going to have a, a tree adoption at Lincoln Park on the east side of town. Um, it will begin around 9 o'clock in the morning and it's going to predominantly be uh, five gallon fruit and nut trees. So it's an option for us to be able to bring out a lot of trees for people to take home. The other event that we do is our most popular tree uh, adoption event is our Jam and Jams Fruit and Nut Tree Adoption. It's January 27th on that Saturday morning. It begins early that morning and we'll have somewhere in the neighborhood of 1,500 um, fruit and nut trees. Uh, again, a wide variety from citrus to peach, pear, um, pecan. We'll have probably over a dozen different varieties of trees. We do recommend that the public comes early. It usually starts around uh, 7.30, 8 o'clock. Uh, you can go to our website to get more specific details, but it's uh, by far one of our most popular events and it will be at the Pearl this year again at the parking lot there at the Pearl Brewery. Explore the fun with your San Antonio Parks and Recreation Department at saparksandrec.com and stay connected with us on social media. are officially here. Join us for our annual Swim with the Elves event at the San Antonio Natatorium. And did we mention we're hiring lifeguards? Let's hear more from Veronica Rodriguez. Even though it may be uh, cold out there, the Natatorium is heated. We are open year round and we do heat our pool and we try to keep it at 82, 82 83 degrees. Um, so a comfortable, you know, still kind of cool for those lap swimmers and um, 
our kids that are, are really um, into working out. So the Natatorium's hours of operation are uh, Monday through Friday. You can swim from 11 to 2 and in the evenings from 5 to uh, 6.45 for kids, 7.45 for adults. Saturdays we're open at 11 for adults, 12 for kids and we close at 6.30. $4 for adults, $3 for seniors 60 and up and $2 for kids. The holidays are here. We're getting ready for our annual Swim with the Elves event held on Saturday, December 16th from 1 to 3. We're going to have a lot of activities. We're going to have a lot of water activities and a few deck activities. And of course, Santa is going to be here. We will be offering lifeguard training starting in January, January all the way through May. Uh, classes are held monthly. And in the month of May, we have classes weekly. We hire to fill about 280 lifeguard positions to work at our 23 outdoor pools. Some of the prereqs that we have to become a lifeguard is that you must complete uh, the lifeguard pretest, which is a 300 yard swim, 12 laps nonstop. After you must retrieve a 10 pound brick in a minute and 40. And after we do treading water for two minutes. Once you complete that, we can get you signed up into that class. And the great thing about joining our lifeguard team is if you do not have experience, we're willing to help you out. We're willing to train you, we're willing to work with you, whatever it takes for you to join our team. Another way to stay healthy and fit for those holidays and for the new year, new you, we will be offering a free Aqua Zumba class year-round here at the Natatorium. It's usually on the third Saturday of the month, unless otherwise we do have a swim meet or something. Um, and it's always at 11.15 to 12.15. We will be offering a few new um, aqua fitness classes, so just keep looking online. We are happy to be partners with um, Fitness in the Park, so take a look at their schedule. Jump online at uh, saparksandrec.com. Number one, it's a great way to stay healthy and fit. Number two, we work and serve in our community. Number three, it's a great job with excellent pay. And number four, we build long-lasting friendships. Number five, we obtain life-saving skills. Hey San Antonio, we need your help. We want to know what you want to see in your future parks. Our San Antonio Park System Survey is now available. This brief survey is designed to collect your feedback as park users and stakeholders regarding your vision of your parks. Parks are about people and places. The mission of the San Antonio Parks and Recreation Department is to provide exceptional parks, facilities, programs, and services to improve the quality of life for all. Survey responses will be used to develop future parks, amenities, and programs. Surveys are readily available and easy to access. For example, you can go to saparksandrec.com to find the survey. And remember, free Wi-Fi is available at 22 parks and the library. So let's take a look. You can click here and begin the survey. The survey is bilingual, so once you choose English or Spanish, you are ready to get started. The questions are designed to find out a few different things. How you currently use the parks, what you would like to see in the parks, how you enjoy the parks with your family, and it also gives you the opportunity to write in more ideas on how to improve your parks. You can see it only takes a few minutes but will help make long-term changes and improvements to your city and your parks. Surveys will also be available at seven community workshops and five community-based fun events. We invite you to attend any of our workshops and events throughout the city. In early 2018, we will take your voice and your vision and begin designing your future SA Park System Plan. So thanks San Antonio, your feedback matters and will help us improve the quality of life for all. Hit the court running in January with the Spurs Youth Basketball League. San Antonio boys and girls ages 6 to 16 won't want to miss out on meeting friends and shooting hoops. Each year we partner with Spurs Sports and Entertainment, more specifically Silver and Black Give Back, and we coordinate our efforts to conduct the leagues at each of our participating locations. They help provide the resources for us to conduct the leagues and then we also then get the curriculum from them to put together our practices and our games. This league is designed for children between the ages of 6 and 16. And we conduct this league at 17 of our participating community centers. This is a great way for our kids to stay active and stay fit. We begin registration in December and we'll actually begin our practices in the middle of January with our games scheduled to begin at the end of January. We'll play our games through about the end of April. The participation fee that includes is the registration for the league as well as a water bottle and a reversible Spurs jersey. 
You can register either online or at the facility itself. Either way is whatever's best for you. Oh, I love my job. I love my job. I love my job. I love my job. I love being a lifeguard because I have a natural tendency to just be there for people, to help them out. Being a lifeguard helps me do all of that. I get to watch over little kids, also the older ones. Just make sure everyone's okay and safe. I love being a lifeguard because it's a great job with great pay. Um, it gives us a lot of other opportunities to gain other certifications like water safety instructor and I love to also teach water aerobics. I love being a lifeguard because I'm always in the water, I'm always around the water, and I love swimming. I love being a lifeguard because it gives me a great opportunity to be outdoors, to meet new people, and to give back to my community. I love being outdoors. As a kid, I grew up climbing trees, swimming all day long. You know, just get that nice little summer body, get that nice little tan, and just, it's, it's perfect being outside. You have fun, you get paid to have fun, you get paid to swim. You get some good pay, you meet some great people, and you learn some life-saving skills. You meet some really awesome people, especially your coworkers. It's a great job, especially in the summer when there's nothing really to do because you're not in school. Anybody interested in becoming a lifeguard, um, first of all, it's a great job with great pay. You get to meet a lot of people, you make new friends, um, and you just never know of the other opportunities that may come your way. We asked our fitness team what residents can do during the holiday months to stay fit and healthy. They're here to talk about free and low-cost fitness opportunities, and they even offered up a couple of tips to get you started. Fitness in the Park is a wonderful opportunity for people in San Antonio to stay active all year round. With the holidays coming up, everybody kind of indulges a little bit in the, in the unhealthy habits. Uh, fitness in the Park still takes place, so you can go out and have a free workout in one of your local parks, community centers, and libraries. Uh, fitness in the Park has something for everybody. We have boot camp classes, yoga classes, Zumba. Uh, we even have some Aqua Zumba classes uh, every month. Uh, a lot of walking opportunities and low impact um, for the entire family to participate in. The Enrique Barrera Fitness Center is always open even during the holidays. We're only closed on Christmas Day and New Year's Day. For a small fee, you can come indoors and enjoy this beautiful fitness center here. The San Antonio Parks Department is here for you to stay active during the holidays and get your New Year's off to a healthy start. Fitness in the Park is just one way the San Antonio Parks Department helps you stay healthy year round. We have outdoor fitness stations throughout our parks and some, some library locations as well. We have a beautiful trail system. For all the free fitness classes through Fitness in the Park, there's no registration required. You can find a class using our website, saparksandrec.com, or you can download our app, SA Parks Fitness, and find a class, show up, ready to work out. Explore the fun with your San Antonio Parks and Recreation Department at saparksandrec.com and stay connected with us on social media. Recreation Department. There are over 245 city parks with something for everyone. 
Amenities include playgrounds, basketball courts, tennis courts, skate parks, pavilions, barbecue grills, and lots more. With 65 miles of trails completed, take a walk, a jog, or hike and surround yourself with nature. Make a splash at 23 outdoor pools in the summer, or visit the San Antonio Natatorium for an indoor swimming experience. Let Fido run, bark, and play at 13 dog parks. There are three adult and senior centers to enjoy arts, crafts, dancing, music, exercise, and make new friends. Residents can explore 26 citywide community centers, several are host sites for spring break camp, the summer youth program, and holiday camps, where youth enjoy science, math, sports, reading, arts, and games. Be part of our team and volunteer at a park mulching, painting, or picking up litter. Get fit with us. Hundreds of Fitness in the Park classes are offered every month throughout the city at libraries, community centers, and parks. Get ready to explore the fun in 2018 and be on the lookout for upcoming Parks and Recreation Department events to celebrate 300 years of San Antonio. That's our show. Thanks for watching. We hope you'll continue to explore the fun with us in 2018. But before we say goodbye, we have a couple of special guests to help us close out the show. Take it away. Yay!